Hi everyone, Aiden here with the trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Rhinorack Ski and Fishing Rod Carrier. This is going to be one of their smaller carriers. They make a ton of different sizes of this style. Some that are designed more for the ski and snowboard side, whereas this one is more for that ski and fishing rod side. It features the same button and spring-loaded arms to open it up, but on the inside where they've got the rubber padding, there's an additional pad in the middle with cutouts where we can add our fishing rods in and give them a good place to be held and secured down. Let's check it out. Now, if you're just using this for skis, it can comfortably fit two pairs of skis within the jaws. That usable space where the length of the pad is, is going to be nine and 13 sixteenths of an inch. So if you're worried about your skis not fitting, just lay them out side by side and see if it fits within those dimensions and that'll let you know what you can fit up here. But for our two pairs, it's fitting just fine with plenty of room on both sides. And then for fishing rods, you can carry up to four rods with those four individual cutouts. To use the carrier, you've got these buttons out front that are easy enough to push with your hands and the palms. So if you're wearing large gloves or mittens while you're skiing, you don't have to worry about it being hard to press. Comparing it to something like the Inno Gravity, those buttons are a little bit more recessed and they're harder to hit. So for this one, I like that a lot. Whenever they're closed, you've got locks out front and two keys included so you can make sure everything inside is secured and locked up so no one can get to it when you're not around. And as far as how it attaches to the crossbar, it uses a specially keyed Allen key to attach the bolts if you do that clamp around method, or it comes with the hardware to mount it in a T-track. So. In the case of our crossbars today, the end caps lock up, so it would be secured that way. Now, if you're using this to carry skis, a lot of people like to use rooftop boxes for those because they're enclosed and locking. These ones are also locking, but there's some benefits that these offer over the rooftop box. The main one being that it is designed to work with fishing rods as well. So if you wanna use it for both purposes or mainly just the fishing rods, the rooftop box probably isn't gonna be your best bet. The other thing is rooftop boxes are gonna add a lot more height to your vehicle. They're gonna be a lot bulkier in the garage when you're storing them. And then they're generally much more expensive. So in overall terms of value, I think this is the better option. Just keep in mind that this is a small carrier. So if you do plan on using it for skis and snowboards, it's probably not gonna work with snowboards and you do wanna make sure it's gonna fit all your gear. A couple things to keep in mind as far as measurements go. You wanna see how much space it's going to take up in your crossbar. So from one outside edge to the other, it's gonna be 15 and three quarters of an inch long. So it doesn't take up too much space on your roof rack. If you wanted to put something on the other side of the roof rack next to it, depending on your vehicle, obviously, you should have enough room for it. Then from the center of where those clamps meet together and where your gear is gonna be to the top of the crossbar, it's going to be three and one quarter of an inch. You can use that to determine if you're gonna have clearance with your bindings and your roof. Now, depending on your roof rack and how tall it sits off the roof. So measure from your roof to the top of your crossbar, add three and one quarter of an inch, and that will let you know how much clearance you have from your gear where it's going to mount to your roof. In terms of the crossbars this works with, it's gonna work with pretty much any crossbar you put it on. We've got the Rhino Rack Aero Bars on right now, but round bars, square bars, and factory bars should be just fine for that clamp round method. Anything with a T-Track, it's got the hardware to mount them there too. The one thing you need to watch out for is if you have the Rhino Rack HD Bars. They do offer a kit separately that will allow you to mount to those HD Bars, but it doesn't come with it, and right out of the box, it isn't gonna work with those. As far as getting them installed goes, it's gonna be very straightforward. This is how it comes out of the box, ready to go for a clamp around install. Now, if you want to do that, just skip ahead in the video a little bit. But if you want to use the T-Track method, all you got to do is come to either one of these two studs, undo that, remove the top part of the clamp. And you can see underneath, that's where our T-bolt is. So after removing that top part of the clamp, we can reinstall all the hardware the same way we removed it. And then it's ready to slide into our T-Track. Otherwise, it's just a simple method of setting it on top of the crossbar and putting our hardware in. Now, if you've got a round bar or a square bar, it might not balance so gracefully, so you might need to hold on to it. Just be aware of that. And then for the clamp hardware, you're gonna get some screws in your kit, plus flat washers for each of them that'll drop down through the top on both sides and thread into the bottom clamp 
underneath. Now it comes with a tool to do this, but if you have a Rhino Rack roof rack, I would suggest grabbing the Allen key tool that came with your roof rack. It's gonna be a lot easier to use than the Allen key they provide in this kit because it extends above the carrier and you can just freely turn it a lot easier. It's not necessary, but it does help with the install process quite a bit. Just complete that process for both clamps and both carriers, and then the install is done. And that's really all there is to it. The install process is pretty straightforward. I wish it was tool free, but at least once it's on, it's on. You don't have to worry about it as much. If you're using this just for skis, I'd maybe look into the Inno Gravity a bit more, just because it is a pretty comparable option. It's a tool free install, and I like the way that it locks up instead of having a security bolt. Now, if you're using this for fishing rods primarily or in addition to skis, I think this carry is gonna be the way to go. I like having those dedicated cutouts for the fishing rods. And overall, this one's pretty simple and easy to use aside from that install of not being tool free. But really that's not too big of a knock on it, especially if you plan on using it through all seasons. Thanks for watching.